Hi guys and welcome to another Kamikaze creation video. Um, before I get started, hit that like and subscribe. If you're not subscribed, like it's something like 20% of my or 80% of my views are from unsubscribed people. Really appreciate it if you can subscribe. Uh, either hit that bell notification so you get notifications when I'm putting videos out or not. It doesn't matter. Just uh, just go and have a look at your leisure when I'm putting things out. Don't mind either way, but hitting that like button really helps me uh, get that feed out. And I um, have also set up an Instagram account, which I'm just posting photos of things I'm doing in the shed and things I have done. Uh, might do some short videos there eventually, but uh, down the down the bottom corner of the screen there, you'll see my little Instagram um, link. Uh, and if you go over there, you can like that as well. That'd be a real thing. So this morning, I've just tensioned that head down. Uh, I'm just using a standard uh, fibre gasket, whatever they're made of, cardboard, you know, it comes in that uh, standard um, kit. Nothing super special. On the 202 build, I'm using the three-ply steel gasket because it's forced uh, inducted and has a lot more pressure in the cylinder. This little sucker, not too worried, being naturally aspirated, so just using that standard uh, gasket. And I've tensioned it down using ARP head studs on this uh, as I used ARP um, main studs in it. So a lot of lot of upgraded bolts in the system. It's still a good little motor. Still, uh, still cost me a little bit of money, um, but just trying to do it right on the way through. Uh, so I've just taken the side covers off and I'm going to slip the new lifters in um, that I have had resurfaced and got that little crown on them to perfection and polished up. So I'm going to slide those in, wax some of that graphite um, lubricant on it that came with the cam and I'll slip them down in and uh, get the push rods on there. And then I've got to start doing some work on those uh, uh, roller rocker studs. If you'll go back several videos, you'll see that I machined a couple of those down just to uh, bring the rocker um, uh, positioning a lot better. They just seem to be way too high and were bearing. So I've machined a couple of mil off those um, rocker studs and they seem to work. I don't know that the geometry is actually perfect. Um, I might have a look at that too, but I'm not that concerned at this stage. Just want to get the thing together and get it running uh, in the car is where I'm getting to at the moment. So anyway, we'll get into it and uh, we'll work our way through a few processes. So I'm just going to start setting up, I haven't, haven't put those uh, lifters in yet, I'll do that in a second, but I'm just going to start setting up these. And one of the things I did notice um, with these guys, uh, because they're independent roller rockers, they need the guide plate for the, uh, the push rod because they're, um, they'll pivot around and uh, lose that, uh, lose that uh, push rod if they haven't got these guide plates on. But I noticed on the corner here, I need to modify this plate because it actually hits on the rocker cover that I'm putting on there. Hopefully that's the only point. But uh, yeah, I did notice when I put it on, it was bearing on something. And I'm pretty sure it's that corner. So which means I'll probably have to do the bottom corner as well. But that's no biggie. And I'm just going to modify all of these, um, all of these studs so they screw down to the right depth um, and bear well on those plates and uh, give me clearance on everything when I put the roller rocker on. I'm um, starting to whack these uh, uh, solid lifters in. Um, and this is the goop. It's a graphite type goop, I'd say. Um, it was a Camtech cam that I bought. And uh, these are Camtech lifters. Not that I think that matters. They're all probably coming through resellers. So I'm just whacking a bit of that graphite goop on the face and spreading it out and then slipping them in the holes. I've moved the engine up into position, not that I'm going to put it in straight away. Um, I actually want to get one of these bikes out because there's a, an enduro event coming up in about um, a month's time. But I've uh, done a bit of work and uh, got all the lifters in there, put that goop on them all um, down onto the cam. Um, all my push rods are in. 
and all my roller rockers are on and I had to do a little bit of work on modifying each of the uh, studs um, just to get a bit of clearance um, between the bottom of the roller rocker and the and the top of the hexagon on there which they all seem to be looking pretty good at the moment um, yeah some of them a little bit close but they are all looking uh, not too bad so next thing is uh, going through them and setting the clearances on uh, the valves inlet and exhaust and then I'm ready to uh, fit that rocker cover up and uh, get that all sealed off there I've put the uh, thermo housing on there it's not on solid at the moment but I've just made a gasket for it um, went and bought some new bolts for it so it's ready to seal up as well and I've found a cane metafold I had two uh, cane metafolds uh, who knows where they came from might have come with the, one of the original motors um, so I'm just going to tidy one of them up and also over here whoop, up there I've got a set of nine port extractors which I've uh, I've got to do a little bit of modifying on so uh, that's what I'm going to work on. I'd like to have the extractors and manifold and everything on when I slip it up into the car. So that's where I'm heading at the moment. The roller rockers are all adjusted. Um, that's not something I've really ever done. I've always worked on hydraulics where these are uh, solid flat tappets and you actually need a little bit of backlash on them, which is clearance. Um, and I found a brilliant um, cheat sheet on the internet and I'll uh, whack that as an image it'll pop up on your screen you can have a look for the process of uh, adjusting and uh, getting them all right and I've been through a couple of cycles of the engine now and uh, double checked and I've got my clearances on the valves which is excellent so we're all set up we're pretty much ready to put that um, uh, rocker cover on there uh, and seal it up and uh, then we'll keep moving on slowly sealing her all back up got the rocker cover on um, as I said earlier the um, the valve lash is all done I uh, got my plugs back in because she's pretty hard to turn over with uh, compression on those valves and um, making it closer I'm, I've got a pick up a, a coil mount off a of mate I uh, haven't got a coil mount to mount that coil on there and uh, and then I'll start working on cleaning up the manifold and the extractors and get them mounted on and uh, then we're pretty much good to slip it back up in I could slip it in now but I really want as much on as possible before I uh, slide it back in the car so guys that's where we're at uh it's getting close now i've still got to tighten up i'm just noticing on there i've still got to tighten up that uh thermostat housing uh put some gasket goo on the gasket and seal that up um but uh really next phase is working on that manifold and uh extractors the manifold i've tried it on there and it uh, does bind a little bit uh on the um manifold bolt so I'm just going to ease those out a bit so it's easier to slide on uh, and uh, get that all tidied up and get the manifold and extractors on there that's going to be an exciting point in the uh, build anyway guys thanks for watching uh, check out those uh, those valve adjustment sheets that I uh, put up there um, that made it really easy and I went through a few cycles of the motor uh, just double checking them and it all looks good um, the clearances I had on them were about 50, uh, 20 thou on exhaust and 18 thou on inlet I think it was um, based on my cam you know that's a very cam specific thing um, but yeah they all uh, they all have a bit of rattle and that that's why the uh, solid flat tappet lifters are a bit noisier because you've got that clearance uh, um, when uh, the valves are closed anyway guys thanks for watching keep up to date with what I'm doing I'll get a little bit more work done during the week and I'll post another video up hit those likes up and uh, take care and bye for now <laughs>